Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mullet Mike here bringing you Creepy Gaming. That's right, folks, the show is back. This is the show where we take a look at all kinds of creepy video game aspects, whether it be scary games or a creepy video game Easter egg or even a creepy poster too. <laughs> Today, we will be covering the more controversial Hong Kong 97. If you have a suggestion for creepy gaming, then be sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter at xmulletmikex. Hit me up there. Let me know what you got. But before we dig into the creepiness, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. Freeze Pipe is a small American-owned online smoke shop that makes a unique line of freezable pieces. These thick glass pieces all feature various combinations of glycerin coils which work to cool smoke down by over 300 degrees. Because Freeze Pipe is the manufacturer and smoke shop, they eliminate middlemen and can offer better pricing than you'll find anywhere else. Shipping is always fast and free and arrives in discreet packaging. No matter what you are into or your budget, there's a Freeze Pipe piece for you. They were cool enough to send me this mini rig, stands 6 inches tall without the glycerin coil, compact and portable, domed walls create max flavor, very little stale air inside the piece. It's designed with a sturdy thick base to handle clumsy friends and heavy attachments. Follow my link down below and use promo code CREEPY for 10% off. Come see why thousands of satisfied customers chose Freeze Pipe. <laughs> In the 10 years that I've been producing this series, never have I found an entry quite like today's episode. I've reviewed very few Super Nintendo games. Earthbound? I, I think that's it. There just wasn't that much creepy stuff in games back then. Little did we know about this haunting game. In 1995, video game developer Happysoft released a video game for the SNES and Super Famicom. And trust me when I say this is anything but happy or soft. I use the term released very loosely. This game is a bootleg that gained infamy in the early emulator days. This ROM floated around as just some strange game, typically disregarded. It gained some more attention a few years back due to its mysterious game Overscreen, which led to an entire full-fledged internet investigation. Playing Hong Kong 97 is hard to explain. It has an utterly eerie vibe to it. Upon starting the game, you'll immediately hear this music. You like that? Well good, because this six second loop plays repeatedly over and over. Over again. No breaks, no sound cues, no effects. Just this six second sample. Over. Oh, and over. No. Is it over? No. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, it's over. It's just gonna oh, start over. Over. And over, and over again. Again. Until your ears bleed. This is arguably more haunting than the game over screen. We get a title screen with Jackie Chan and former Chinese leader Dong Zhao Ping. Let's read. The year 1997 has arrived. A herd of ugly fucking red- Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? What is this? Oh, then we get this screen. Crime rate skyrocketed. Hong Kong is ruined. Therefore, the Hong Kong government called Bruce Lee's relative, Chin. It's Jackie Chan! Chin is a killer machine. Wipe out 1.2 billion of the red communist? Wow. Just wow. However, in mainland China, there is a secret project in progress, a project to transform the diseased Tong Shao Ping into the ultimate weapon. And then the game begins. Oh, look at that. 
Look at Chin go. What is this? Where did this come from? What dimension of hell did I slip into to find this madness? As you can see, it's a top-down shooter where you play as Chin, taking out these enemies while continuously listening to this charming tune over and over and over. And over, and over. And over. Take note of the enemy's death animations. This will come up later. It is at this point in the game where we encounter the first truly creepy aspect of the game. It's the boss fight where we battle the decapitated head of super weapon Tong Xiao Ping. When first playing this game, I had no idea what was going on. This game, out of context, is insane. This game, in context, is still insane. I had no idea what the developers of this game were trying to say. What statement were they trying to make with the detached head of former leader Dong Xiao Ping? We've made light and we've had some fun this episode so far, but this is where things begin to get much darker. When you die in this game, this image appears. I don't know of any game that features an actual dead body. Do you? Remember the animations when you kill an enemy? Yeah, that is a smaller pixelated version of the same image. If you look closely at the game over screen, you'll see time codes shown at the bottom. This led many to believe what they were seeing wasn't just from some movie, but rather an actual dead body, possibly from some snuff film. Who was this? Where did this image or video come from? Were we looking at a real dead body or just some gory special effects? The story just gets stranger from here. After the game gained enough notoriety amongst players, Reddit's finest detectives got to work to solve the mystery of Hong Kong 97's game over screen. Theories sprang up left and right. Some people thought that maybe the creator of the game was trying to show us something or explain something to us. Where was the body from? Who was it? Many people followed the lead of the VHS screenshot's time code, specifically the date. This led many to speculate that the body could have been that of boxer Lesik Belinsky, who died on that date. It wasn't until 2019 when it was discovered that the video was not that of Belinsky, but rather came from a video series called Death File. Allow me to explain. Here in the States, some of you may be familiar with a series known as Faces of Death. It was a video series that showed macabre images of dead bodies and victims of war and such. Apparently overseas, they have a similar series known as The Death Files. The video can still actually be found on YouTube as of the recording of this episode. I will not show the image here, but you can see it for yourself if you so please. You'll see that the images line up perfectly with the game over screen. From what I understand, the man depicted was a victim of the Bosnian War. What happened to him was truly a tragedy. So how did this still pixelated image end up in Hong Kong 97? May I remind you that this is a Super Nintendo game. I don't care if it was a bootleg or not. How did this happen? How did this come about? Here's the truth. Hong Kong 97 was created by Kowloon Kurosawa. He is a Japanese writer and entrepreneur. When first brainstorming Hong Kong 97, Kurosawa wanted to create the most bizarre, messed up, trippy, disturbing, crudest, shameless video game of all time. And for the time, he succeeded. There was nothing else quite like this. Kurosawa has since done interviews discussing Hong Kong 97. I strongly suggest checking it out. Hearing about his past kind of puts the game in context a little bit more. Kurosawa was very big in the underground scene of the 90s. He was into exploitation, shock, and schlock. So basically put, Hong Kong 97 was meant to be a shocking exploitation game. And shocking it is. Despite all the theories surrounding the mysterious game over screen, the truth is just as strange, if not stranger, than fiction. Because of this, Hong Kong 97 has done enough to earn its own dark place in creepy gaming history. 
And that's gonna do it for today's episode of Creepy Gaming. I just want the record to stay, all right? If I die, somebody please take a picture of my dead body and put it into a video game. I wouldn't care. I, if anything, I'd be honored. Shove a pickle up my ass, put a wig on me, take a picture, make it an Easter egg. Let's make this happen. It would be awesome. I would love that. You have my blessing. I want to thank you all for joining me today on this special edition of Creepy Gaming. Again, be sure to check out this episode's sponsor, Freeze Pipe. Use promo code CREEPY. Be sure to subscribe for more Creepy Gaming. Yes, you heard me correctly. And you know, I'm not even going to tell you to hit that like button. You, you know where it's at. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at XMulletMikeX. That's going to do it for me today, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Mullet Mike saying, stay creepy, my friends. Peace. What are they thinking?